Daily Words of God Fourth, God drew boundaries between different races. On earth, there are white people, black people, brown people, and yellow people. These are different types of people. God also fixed the scope for the lives of these different types of people, and without being aware of it, people live within their appropriate environment for survival under God's management. No one can step outside of this. For example, the white race, that is, white people. What areas do they mostly live within? They mostly live in European and American countries. Black people primarily live within Africa. And within what areas do brown people live? Primarily in Southeast Asia, such as Thailand, India, Myanmar, Vietnam, and Laos, that is, Southeast Asian regions. Yellow people live primarily in Asia, that is, China, Japan, South Korea, and other similar countries. God has appropriately distributed all these different types of races so that these different races are distributed across different parts of the world. In these different parts of the world, God long since prepared an environment for survival suitable for each different race of human. Within these types of environment for survival, God has prepared for them the soil's color and components. The components in white people's bodies and black people's bodies are not the same, and are also different from the components of people's bodies of other colors. When God created all beings, He had already prepared such an environment for survival. His purpose in that was so that when that type of people started to multiply, when they started to increase in number, they could be fixed within that scope. Before God created human beings, He had already thought it all out. He'd give a certain area to white people to allow them to develop and survive. So when God was creating the earth, He already had a plan. He had intention and purpose in what He was putting into that piece of land and what would be nurtured on that piece of land. For example, God long ago prepared what mountains, how many plains, how many water sources, what kinds of birds and beasts, what fish, and what plants would be on that land. When preparing an environment for survival for a type of human being, for a race, God considered many aspects of issues. The geographical environment, the components of the soil, the types of birds and beasts, the size of the various types of fish, the components in the fish, different water qualities, as well as all the different types of plants. God had long ago prepared all of that. That type of environment is a native environment for survival that God created and prepared for white people. You should be able to see that when God created all beings, He put a lot of thought into it. He did things with a plan. Now you can see that, right? God's considerations for various types of people were very thoughtful. For the environment, for survival, for different types of humans, He prepared the kinds of birds and beasts and the kinds of fish, how many mountains and how many plains there would be. All of it was considered very thoughtfully and precisely. For example, what food do white people primarily eat? It's mainly high-protein foods, different types of meat, dairy products, and wheat-based foods. The foods that white people eat are very different from the foods that Asian people eat. The staple foods that white people eat are primarily meat, eggs, milk, and poultry. Grains such as bread and rice 
are generally non-staple foods that are put to the side of the plate. Even when eating salad, which is made up of vegetables, they put some roasted beef or chicken in it. Even if they eat some wheat-based foods, they add cheese, eggs, or meat to it. That is to say, their staple foods aren't primarily made up of wheat-based foods or rice. They eat quite a lot of meat and cheese. They often drink ice water because they eat really high-calorie foods. When they eat a meal, before the food is served, everyone drinks a glass of ice water first. So white people are really robust. These are the sources for their lives, their environments for living prepared for them by God, allowing them to have that kind of lifestyle. That lifestyle is different from the lifestyles of people of other colors. There is no right or wrong in this lifestyle. It is inborn, predestined by God and because of God's rule and His arrangements. This type of race has a certain lifestyle and certain sources for their livelihood, which is because of their race, as well as because of the environment for survival prepared for them by God. You could say that the environment for survival God prepared for white people and the daily food they obtain from that environment is rich and plentiful. God also prepared the necessary environments for survival for other races. There are also black people. Where are black people located? They are primarily located in Central and Southern Africa. What did God prepare for them in that type of environment for living? Tropical rainforests, all sorts of birds and beasts, also deserts, and all kinds of plants that go along with them. They have sources for water, their livelihoods, and food. God was not biased against them. No matter what they have ever done, their survival has never been an issue. They also occupy a certain location and a certain area in a part of the world. Now let's talk a bit about yellow people. Yellow people are primarily located in the Orient. What are the differences between the environments and geographical positions of the Orient and the Occident? In the Orient, the majority of the land is fertile, and it is rich in materials and mineral deposits. That is, all sorts of above-ground and underground resources are plentiful. And for this group of people, for this race, God also prepared the corresponding soil, climate, and the various geographical environments that are suitable for them. Although there are great differences between that geographical environment and the environment in the Occident, people's necessary food, livelihoods, and sources for survival were prepared by God. It's just a different environment for living than white people have in the Occident. But what is the one thing that I need to call to your attention, that I need to tell you? The number of the Eastern race is relatively high, so God added a lot of elements in that piece of land that are different from the West. In that part of the world, He added a lot of different landscapes and all kinds of abundant materials. Natural resources there are very abundant. The terrain is also varied and diverse, adequate for nurturing an enormous number of the Eastern race. Something that's different from the West is that in the East, from the South to the North, from the East to the West, the climate is better than the West. The four seasons are clearly delineated, temperatures are hospitable, natural resources are abundant, and the natural scenery and types of terrain are much better than in the West. Why did God do this? 
God created a very rational balance between white people and yellow people. What does this mean? Every aspect of what white people can enjoy is much better than what yellow people are able to enjoy. Their food and the things that they use are much better. However, God is not biased against any race. God gave yellow people a more beautiful and better environment for survival. This is the balance. So now you understand, right? God has predestined which types of people live in which part of the world, and humans cannot go outside of this scope. This is a marvelous thing. Even if there are wars or encroachments during different eras or at particular times, these wars, these encroachments, absolutely cannot destroy the environments for survival that God has predestined for each race. That is, God has fixed a certain type of people in a certain part of the world, and they cannot go outside of that scope. Even if people have some kind of ambition to change or expand their territory, without God's permission, this will be very difficult to achieve. It will be very difficult to succeed. For example, White people wanted to expand their territory, and they colonized some other countries. The Germans invaded some countries. England occupied India. What was the outcome? In the end, they failed. What do we see from this failure? What God has predestined is not permitted to be destroyed. So no matter how great the momentum you may have seen in England's expansion, in the end, the outcome is that they still had to withdraw, and that land still belonged to India. Those who live on that land are still Indians, not the English. This is because it's something that God does not allow. Some of those who research history or politics have provided theses on this. They give reasons for why England failed, saying that it could be because a certain ethnicity could not be conquered, or it could be for some other human reason. These are not real reasons. The real reason is because of God. He doesn't allow it. God has an ethnicity live on a certain land and settles them there. And if God doesn't allow them to move, they will never be able to move. If God defines a scope for them, they will live within that scope. Mankind cannot break free or break out of these scopes. This is certain. No matter how great the forces of the encroachers are, or how weak those who are being encroached upon are, their success, in the end, is up to God. He has already predestined this, and no one can change it.